In this quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking glitter particle explosion in After Effects and all this without plugins or whatsoever. And it's super simple, so let's just go right into it. So I'll just make a new composition and just leave the normal settings and hit OK. And first of all, let's right click in here, go to new and let's add a white solid for the background. And actually, we can just select the white solid and press Ctrl D on the keyboard to duplicate it. And on the upper layer, we will now apply the particle world effect, which is the yeah, most important or only effect that we need. And yeah, just apply it on here. And if you would play this animation, you can see that by default, these particles look yeah, kind of weird. So let's actually make our own particles. So right click in here again, go to new. And let's add a shape layer to create these nice rectangle glitter shapes. And yeah, so just open this up and go to add and add a rectangle. And also open up these settings and uncheck the constraint proportions thing. And just put in 200 in here. So we actually get this super cool rectangle, which now is just transparent. So let's also add a fill effect, just like this. And for now we can just hide this one and go to our particle layer again. And yeah, now we can open up the particle settings and change the particle type from line to texture disk. And now we can't see anything really. So let's open up the texture setting and select our shape layer. And by that, we can already see that we have our own particles going on, which is super cool. And yeah, but now if we would play this animation, which will take some time to pre-render, we could see that this is just like a constant explosion of particles and we don't want that we wanted to just start and then yeah, have a single explosion so let's do this real quick and for this let's just go to the beginning of our animation and put in a birth rate in here like five for example and just keyframe it and then go forward a few frames just like this and put in zero so now it will just stop emitting particles and now if we play this we can actually see we get a single explosion which will then just stop and I think yeah this is just super cool but I also think that the particles are way too small so let's increase the birth size to something like 1 and let's increase also the, the death size to 0.5 which I think looks super cool and now we have this really nice explosion but I think for this one the gravity effect is a bit wrong so they fall to the ground too heavy for some yeah, light glitter by default. So let's open up the physics settings and bring down the gravity to 0.1 which should make this better. And now if we play this we have this super cool particle explosion. And yeah I'm already super happy with the result. I maybe want to increase the maximum opacity to 100% so it's not that see-through. But yeah, this is amazing. You can see this looks just super cool. And yeah, in the example, we do two more things. We first of all select this layer and the effect and move this yeah, particle explosion to the corner because I think it just looks cooler when it just comes in from somewhere, just like this. And we also made some more particles with a different color, which is just a cool contrast effect. And yeah, to do this, we have a simple trick. We can just duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D again. And now we see these, yeah, we have, yeah, we would have theoretically more particles, but they are on top of each other. And yeah, to change this, we can open up the extra setting and put in a random seed in here, like five or whatever. And now we can see the particles will have a different path. And now we just need to add a fill effect and change the color of this one to have some nice contrast and I'll just use a purple or bluish color just like this and hit OK. And yeah, now we could play this and I'll think this looks super cool and I hope this is what you kind of want and this helped you a bit. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.